All right, new at 10, marking 30 years since the arrest of one of the country's most prolific serial killers. Jeffrey Dahmer was captured in a West Side apartment building where investigators also found barrels of evidence. Rebecca Clough explains how this case changed this city. From WTMJ TV, Milwaukee's 24 hour news channel. Very gruesome discovery in Milwaukee overnight. Milwaukee police find a horrifying scene inside an apartment building. Police got here in the middle of the night, and what they found was an apartment full of pieces of people. 30 years ago, Milwaukee woke up to news. Jeffrey Dahmer was responsible for killing more than a dozen people. The majority of those murders happened in an apartment near the Marquette campus. So we thought it was a Steve Freezer. And now we found out he's got dead bodies in it. All that remains today of that site is a grassy lot. Defense was not here. This is all new. We return there with Claiborne Benson, a former TMJ4 photographer and current executive director of the Wisconsin Black Historical Society Museum. He remembers being there that morning with investigators. But we could actually see the body parts being carried out the back door. He'll never forget the people who showed up to the crime scene. I begin to see family members come and uh, ask questions about who were these people and did, uh, did they know of their loved ones? And they would hold pictures up. Uh, they're saying, um, I'm missing a brother, I'm missing a cousin. April 7th is when he didn't return back from getting his key made. The Dahmer case was an awakening for Milwaukee in many ways. Uh, an awakening that, that there were people who were missing, who were not followed up on. Jeff Fleming works for the city of Milwaukee in the mayor's office. In 1991, he was a reporter for TMJ4. Clearly, the case of Connor Atkins of Synthes and Pone raised very serious questions about how the police treated people. Three months before Dahmer was caught, one of his victims, Conorak Sinsithapone, escaped Dahmer's apartment. An alert neighbor called police when they saw the naked and disoriented 14-year-old boy running down the street. Police showed up and so did Dahmer. He convinced police the boy was drunk and they were lovers. Police brought the boy back to Dahmer's apartment. Would they have treated Conor Axinthus and Pone differently had he been a blonde woman? Probably they would have. Fleming says there was an immediate change at the police department. Certainly it has changed the way the police department views missing persons cases, looking at situations not as uh, quickly dismissive uh, cases, but cases that uh, deserve follow-up. Jeffrey Dahmer was sentenced to multiple life sentences for the murder of 17 people. He was killed in prison in 1994. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News.